A very good evening. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube's channel. It's really good to see you again and I hope you have subscribed to the channel also as I have been requesting you so that you will be getting latest updates about on the videos that I post. Right, so what's in this video? Very simple stuff, security stuff. So you must have been done your RSC or you are already a RSC certified guy. So I am going to share you how you can change the default system login behavior of the machine and it should be persistent across the reboot and should be consistent throughout the RPM updates if you update your machines. So like when, whenever you create a user account by default there are no policies enforced like the minimum password length or the, whether the machine should prompt you for a specific number of uh, like some numeric characters or digits or special characters so there are two tools which you can use to secure your authentication Number one is the auth config tool, right? This is one of the tools which you can use, and the second is the auth config hyphen py. So these two tools are available to you if you want to secure your authentication mechanism. But I or and these two tools will help you make your changes consistent throughout the updates and throughout the reboots. I personally don't like the authconfig-ty tool as there is a less number of features and you are restricted in more or less in a, for a lot of jobs. So authconfig is one which I recommend. There is another way of doing those things that you can straight away go to pam.d directory and can change the files if you know that what needs to be written in which file which is obviously a very tedious job. So let me show you how you can change certain behaviors or certain process which I think you should be doing it on your machines, on your servers without manually editing the inside the pam.d folder and editing all these files with the actual syntax. So I will be using authconfig tool. So let's say I want to change the algorithm. So I know that by default rel 7 uses SJ512. So which I can see it if I give an FC shadow here. So when you see a dollar six dollar, that means it's a SHA512, right? Okay. So just for the sake of uh, this video, I'm going to change it back to MD5, which is not recommended though, but just for the lag. Before I proceed and do the changes, first it is always recommended to take the backup of your current configuration settings. So there is a very interesting tool here, authconfig, and you can use the option save backup equal to anywhere where you think that it is a secure location. Say I give original or I G I N A L original pam dot com anything. So what it does actually, if I go to temp, I'll show it to you what it does. It will create a folder here, originalpam.com, and these are the files which will be modified. So it has taken a backup copy of the original things. So otherwise, if you're going to do it, edit it manually, then you might need to go through these files, not all of them, but might be a lot of them, and do the changes manually. So being an easy, or being a lazy guy I don't do this so fine so the backup is already there with us now let me give you a very simple example how can I change my algorithm to md5 using the auth config tool I give auth config hyphen hyphen pass algo equal to md5 and say hyphen hyphen update very simple it's done so I have just rolled back my Password algorithm to MD5, which is not recommended in REL 7, but I've done this. 
Then next thing is that say I want minimum password length should be 10 characters. I can again give auth config hyphen hyphen pass min length equal to 10 hyphen hyphen update. Feel free to choose your number. So now whenever I give the password, it should check and see that minimum 10 characters should be there. Okay, fine. I also want a lower case as a mandatory option. So I give auth config hyphen hyphen enable require lower. It's very simple hyphen hyphen update. So now the machine is also expecting a lower case. That's good. Now I also want an upper case. Wow, wow, wow. So re repeat it. Require upper. So now it is expecting one upper case also. You can also force your machine to expect a, new, a number also. So for that what I do, I'll repeat the same thing. Enable require will be the common. So just try to learn it in an easy way. Enable require will be, will be the common. Just write digit. That's good. So now it's expecting a number also. In the same manner, I can force it to expect a special character. So just enable require again will be the same. Just require other. Job done. So that means if I create a user account and the user tries to change the password, these policies should be applied on. Okay, let's create a user account. So if I create a user account, say user account, what name should I give, say Eva, okay, I assign her a password, Red Hat, I'm a root, so I've got all the privileges, remember that, Red Hat is the password, R-E-D-H-A-T, no, see here, it's giving you a strange message or a warning, which you, you might have not seen earlier, it contained less than one digit, because I had required one digit, Okay, I give red hat. Okay, sorry. I'll repeat again. Red hat. Red hat. Because I'm root, it's being overridden. No problem. So if I show you cat hc shadow, you will be surprised to see Eva has got an MD5 password. See the length. This dollar one dollar means it's MD5. And the length, whereas normally SHA512 will have dollar six dollar, and this is the length of the password. Oh my god. You have rolled back to the older algorithm. That's fine just for the sake of the practical or the video. Okay. Now if Eva goes and tries to change the password, let's see what message she's getting. Okay. Current password is Red Hat. Now I am giving the password India123, small letters. I-N-D-I-A-1-2-3. I N D -E I A 1 2 3. It says it contains less than one uppercase correct. That's good. So it is being enforced here. Okay. So I give now something else. Say I give I capital now. And rest of the things will the same. Capital I N D I A 1 2 3. It contains less than one non alphanumeric characters. Okay. I give now India at the rate 1, 2, 3. Capital I, I N D I A at the rate 1, 2, 3. It's shorter than 10 character, obviously. Because capital I and D I A at the rate 1, 2, 3 is 9 characters. So if you see here, my policies are enforced. So in this manner, you can make it more secure. Your operating system, RHEL 7, will be more secure. And in case you want to go back to your original configuration with SHA512 and all that stuff, so what you should be doing, it's very simple. If you remember, we had this backup with us in this particular folder. So think of this. If you don't know these commands, auth config command, then you might need to add it these files manually. Not all of them, I have told you, but many of them. And you need to... Remember the actual file names and the actual syntax and there is a lot more chances of mistype or some typo errors. So if I again roll back to the original one, so I can simply give a restore from the backup. So I am reverting to the original thing from where I had started this video. So the option is restore backup 
and then the name of your folder where you have stored the name of the folder is original hyphen pam.com so just copy this and paste it and that's all job done so that means if I create a user once again it should be uh, using SHA512 as the default password algorithm so let's try this before I end this video so I say user add any name will do say Iron Man and I give password here Red Hat is the password so if I show you SC shadow you see here it's not MD5 it's what it's your SHA512 so I hope you have liked this video it's a very small steps that makes your machine very secure thank you very much thank you for work for watching the video thank you for liking us and subscribing us do subscribe us thank you very much god bless see you again soon bye bye take care